recording of the alarm sounds used by Sellafield Limited on the Sellafield site. The first sound is the site's shelter siren, used if an operational alert, site incident, off-site nuclear emergency or off-site chemical emergency has been declared and you are required to shelter. If you hear this alarm and you are inside a building designated as a site emergency assembly point, remain in the building, collect a site emergency respirator, close all windows and report to the building controller. If you are not in a building designated as a site emergency assembly point or you are outside, enter the nearest manned site emergency assembly point, read the blue site emergency procedure notice, collect a respirator and report to the building controller. This is the site shelter alarm. That was the alarm indicating that an operational alert, site incident, off-site nuclear emergency or off-site chemical emergency has been declared. The second sound is the criticality alarm. When you hear this alarm, run out of the building following the criticality exit signs, white arrow on a green background. Do not stop to remove protective clothing and report to the criticality assembly area. If you are wearing protective clothing, report to your designated undress facility prior to continuing on to the criticality assembly area. This is the criticality alarm. That was the criticality alarm. The third sound is the building evacuation alarm due to widespread air contamination. When you hear this alarm, evacuate the building immediately. Don a respirator if possible, but do not waste time looking for one. Report to the building assembly point. This is the building evacuation alarm. That was the building evacuation alarm. The fourth sound is the fire alarm. When you hear this alarm, evacuate using the quickest appropriate exit and report directly to the building assembly point. Do not stop to collect personal possessions. Do not use lifts and do not re-enter the building until officially notified to do so. This is the fire alarm. That was the fire alarm. The fifth sound is the local airborne activity alarm. When you hear this alarm, leave the area where the alarm is sounding, donning a respirator if possible. Inform health physics and follow their instructions. This is the local airborne activity alarm. That was the local airborne activity alarm. The sixth and last sound is the area gamma alarm. When you hear this alarm, leave the area where the alarm is sounding and contact Health Physics. This is the area gamma alarm. That was the area gamma alarm. Health rules and emergency instructions are posted at entrances to buildings which provide specific actions to be taken to respond to alarms. These should be read when you enter a building. Thank you. Goodbye.